Welcome to Hope Academy. My name is Mr. O, and today I'm going to be going over the SAT 2 subject test practice. Um, this one I actually got off of a website called cracksat.net. Um, but that being stated, I'll be providing the description below so that you could find the, this exact exam to practice for yourself. Um, but that being stated, usually what I, when I do these videos, I go over these problems very slowly and then or actually not slowly, but I go through it fast myself, solve it, and then I go over it slowly to explain to you how I do these problems. And I usually do them several at a time so that you guys could sort of you know watch specific problems if needed. Um, but that being stated, I'm gonna go ahead and do numbers specifically one through three today and explain to you how I was able to do the problem so quickly afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So for number one, number one states this. Okay. 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 So for number one, my final answer is B. And now I'm going to explain to you how I was able to get to this answer so quickly. So for this question, it's actually pretty simple. It's actually a two two way sort of inequality sort of equation. The main idea is that I need to make sure I keep up with like terms like terms is one thing I do need to make sure and this is an inequality based question and the main idea behind this is that what I just did was I first got the equations rewrote the equations afterwards I moved all the R's to one side moved all the S's to the other side and simplified whatever the equations could be and eventually I got 0 is greater than 2 divided 2 times S so I divided by 2 because 0 divided by 2 will be 0 but S will stay the same so 0 is greater than S in this format right here, you got to be careful to make sure that 0 is the greater value, not the s. And thus why it's not e, because they're saying the s is greater, but b is going to tell you that. And thus how I was able to get to the answer for number 1. So now to continue, number 2. For number 2, it's c. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you how I was able to get to the answer so quickly. So for this question particularly, um, this is an idea based on absolute values. And the idea behind absolute values is the fact that when I plug in any values into an absolute value, the output that comes out of the absolute value will always be of a positive value because the idea behind absolute values is about distance. It's about the space uh, that exists. So for example, if I was talking to a friend and I was saying, oh, I went three miles this way or two miles that way, I'm never going to tell a person that I went negative two miles because distance is not something that could be measured that has a negative or a positive attribute. Um, that being stated, because this was an absolute value, I knew right off that if f of x, when does f of x equals to f of negative x, no well, matter what I plug into negative x into here, it's still going to come out as x. Just as much as whatever value, absolute value of x comes into there will come out as x. And so that's why for that scenario, I knew right off C, all real possible values of x is going to be the correct answer. So for my final answer, 2 is C. Now to continue on to number 3. So number 3 says this. Okay. Okay, for number three, my final answer is D. And so the concept behind number three is an idea called factorials. And I do want to explain it on a separate piece of paper for particularly this one, just because it's a concept you do want to know and make sure you understand. This factorial idea actually comes out a lot more commonly um, in statistics. And so basically the idea behind a factorial is that it's it's a series of numbers starting from that original number that's shown to the whatever value is left. So for example, for 15, when I get 15 factorial, it's going to be 15 times 14 times 13 times 12. And I'll keep going doing 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, whatever not, until I get to 1, divided by 13, which is 13 times 12 times yada, 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 yada. keep going to 1. And then times, well, there's two factorials, so will be 2 times 1. And the idea behind this is the fact that when I saw this right off, I know that because the 13 factorial on the bottom goes from 13 to 1, this will cancel out with whatever is happening up here from 13 to whatever not. And so I knew right off it will be 15 times 14 over 2 times 1, which is just 2. And so in the end, I could do this on a calculator. If you want to do it on a calculator, feel free to. For me personally, I could solve it out faster than on the calculator. So I ended up just crossing these out and getting 7. So I ended up getting 15 times 7 and I multiplied it to get 105. And thus how 
I was able to get the answer for 3, which is D. And that concludes my explanation for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and so on. And I'll continue on to the next questions, numbers 4 through 6 next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.